Hello and welcome back to my channel. Wavy is back with their new song, Kickback, their new third mini album of the same name, Kickback. It actually has a, a decent amount of songs. I think there's like four songs outside of the title track and the instrumental of the title track on there. So that's solid. If you guys are interested in me checking out the whole mini album, uh, let me know that it would be on Patreon. Along with the live stage, I checked their comeback showcase. The quality just seems eh for the uploads that I could find on it. So we might have to wait for the actual like M countdown comeback stage for me to check that out but I'm excited for this I have just like recently finished out all of their title tracks I'm pretty sure love talk actually has really really grown on me uh, having listened to it plenty more after that initial reaction that kind of like 90s throwback R&B just kind of hit and hit in a different way I guess and I, I really do like that song a lot so I'm excited to see what they are bringing this time with kickback I've checked out some of the concept photos uh yeah it looks good it looks good all right let's just dive in again SM no 4k what what are you doing what are you doing to me I don't know how I feel about this animal print I'm liking the aquarium I'm liking how Grimy this bases. Okay. Everyone. Everyone is rapping. Ah, dude. I love Kun's vocals, man. My dude. And man, Ooh, he's judging healing the pre course. Ten's hair, Ten's hair is so perfect all the time. Look at this, he looks back because he knows. Oh, it's real catchy. Hey, hold on. Hold on, we gotta see that again. I need to watch their feet more, because honestly... Oh, stop panning up. He's beautiful, but come on. Oh, it's very, like, cool, casual choreography. This is not the first time Henry's had pink hair, right? He's looking good, this comeback. I just love Ten, man. He's just awesome. He just reeks of cool. I really like these outfits. Ooh, Center Henry. See, I didn't know how I was feeling about it here. But the second part of the chorus is where it hits. This. The vocals just come in and you still have that underlaying uh, kick kick back part and it just feels so much more rich and full. I was hoping it wasn't going to sit into that empty, even though it's cool and really catchy, first part of the chorus. And then it just evolves beautifully. I like the streak in Yang's hair. I really like those outfits. They're like tie-dye jackets. Something. Let Ten dance. Let him dance. Let him sing. Whole lot of screen time. 
as it should be. They did the, they did the, they did the cherry bullet thing. Okay, it wouldn't be a wavy video if we did not have a dance break. Wow. Very cool. Okay, so there's a lot of... And and I guess you kind of see it in the in the picture, the imagery of what their their the, like the cover of their album is for Kickback. It has all the like the highway roads kind of converging between each other and splitting off. And you think of like uh, Turn Back Time, and now this, uh, and even like Moonwalk. So we have like references even in the lyrics here. Again, I I tried my best to pay attention to the lyrics, but there's a whole lot of visually going on that I needed to pay attention to. So I, I caught some things, but we have so many references to like time and and space and bending time in some way. So it somehow to me in my head relates to a lot of their previous songs in that way at least um so i don't know if this has to do with any kind of like realm shifting type stuff again i don't believe wavy has some like ongoing narrative like not in a grand way at least but uh it's still something that ties their other music together and kind of gives them a, a particular feeling and identity that separates them from uh, your NCT 127s or your dreams. Uh, so uh, this I liked quite a bit. Everyone seemed to get uh, a lot of screen, to screen time. Uh, I really didn't see too much, obviously. Again, win-win uh, outside of the beginning. Maybe I honestly just missed him. I'm, I'm still really struggling on certain faces sometimes, especially because they did change up their styling in this MV alone over the course of it. Um, but I did see him in the beginning when we had basically like three people rapping in a row who I, you know, wouldn't expect uh, to be following each other. But I, I like this quite a bit. I think it's really catchy. And the fact that it kind of explodes into this more uh, rich second chorus is where it really just sells me on it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of some parts of Moonwalk, at least when you have like the overlaid vocals onto the uh, chorus. And I really, really like that. Um, where the empty, harder chorus um really i think work well with a lot of nct 127 stuff they still of course 127 will bring the you know their vocal prowess all the time and uh here you see that as well with wavy but they really worked it um well into the existing chorus to kind of create this like rising like evolving uh a feeling and it reminded me like a, a little bit of like uh a fireworks from ats not in terms of the song whatsoever but just the way that uh there is a two-part chorus and it kind of becomes more rich in the second half and i really really like that i like when um they they kind of have those um overlaid vocals to make everything seem a bit more epic and wavy's mvs and their songs really do have that kind of feeling especially tracks like moonwalk have a very grand epic feeling uh to me almost like we're watching some kind of like uh like clip from a sci-fi movie uh of some sort which is what i loved about turn back time you had like some sci-fi element to the mv here um it seemed a bit more simple i guess we had like really cool camera work and i did like the the doorway where they're in the doorway um doing their choreo and it pulls inward into you know them in the foreground dancing as well reminded me of that cherry bullet love so sweet mv uh but overall the mv pretty simple i like the colors i don't know how i feel about the i just really don't like animal print anything i think it's a little tacky so i don't know how i feel about the first outfits but uh the second ones where it was kind of like almost this dyed tie-dye looking um with a lot of white like jackets and stuff i, I like that um so overall yeah i thought it was solid I, th I thought it was a solid solid song let me know what you guys think of it what do you guys think of the mini album? What do you think of the video? Uh, I really liked, uh, I mean, again, I always say I'm kind of split. I don't really know. Lucas is kind of my dude, but also I've, the more I've been seeing 10 off stage, I really, really like 10 as well. So uh, I do like how much uh, center time, screen time that 10 got. I just love watching that dude dance. He's got to be like a top five for me as, as far as I know when it comes to male dancers and K-pop. He's just 
he's wild. He's really something else. So I really do like how he got to showcase his skills a little bit. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this overall. I thought it was really solid. Let me know again what you guys think. Let me know if you want me to check out the mini album on Patreon or their comeback stage. I, I probably will. We just got to see when that comes out because like I said, the online showcase just doesn't seem that great of quality, video quality at least, of what is uploaded at the moment. So I might have to just wait for that. Check out my Patreon if you're interested in those live stages or other um, mini album reactions, variety shows. We're in the middle of Dreamcatcher week. So if you like Dreamcatcher, there's a whole lot of Dreamcatcher content on there right now. And uh, yeah, that's all for me. Follow me on Twitter. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. Check out my NCT playlist down below in the description. We've checked out a lot of NCT. Uh, so there's a whole lot of content on there for you. And I'll see you in the next one.